The next type of uh, species interaction, interspecific one, under the positive grouping is proto cooperation. The other name for proto cooperation is facultative mutualism. Now, from the word facultative, you can make it out that it is optional, not mandatory. And what it is, it is a type of mutualism. Now, in proto cooperation, what happens is supposedly this is one organism and this is the other organism. As a result of interaction between the two, one is also benefited and other is also benefited. Now, such an interaction is not mandatory. That means that the organisms which are interacting as uh, as under proto cooperation, they can survive without each other as well. Okay, so proto cooperation is otherwise termed as facultative mutualism. It is very uh, aptly stated that it is facultative. Both the organisms they can survive without each other, but whenever they are coming and interacting, they are benefiting each other. This is what proto cooperation is all about. Very simple it is. It is having one or two examples. The first example is red over here I'm writing red build pecker it sits on the back of black rhinoceros and what it does it eats sticks from the body of rhinoceros so rhinoceros is a uh, in a way it is benefited because the pecker is eating away the lice the lice which is going to suck the blood out of the body it is eating that tick and lice. Same way we have yellow billed pecker that is also eating away the lice and ticks from the back of rhinoceros. So these are the two examples where we have both the organisms being benefited. Now you may ask that how these are being benefited of course they are getting the food so they are going to be benefited. They are feeding on those ticks and lices and this rhinoceros is getting benefited as it is getting rid of the parasites on its body. The ectoparasites are being fed upon by the other organism and both are getting benefited. The other example for this is crocodile bird. Now this crocodile bird, what it does? The crocodile opens its mouth. It is uh, sitting with an open, it is lying with an open mouth besides the water body and the bird comes and eats away the leeches, those which stick in the mouth of crocodile. So crocodile in a way is again getting rid of its parasites, ectoparasites, blood sucking leeches by virtue of act of this crocodile bird coming and eating it. Now again this is getting benefited because it is getting food and this is getting benefited because it is getting rid of the parasites that are feeding on it because crocodile has to go in water, it has to feed on something, it has to open its mouth. So leeches take advantage of that and get into the mouth. When crocodile bird comes and takes away those leeches, instead they eat those leeches. So both these organisms uh, are benefited and do keep in mind that they both can survive without each other. It is not that if the crocodile bird does not come, the crocodile is going to die without that interaction. It will survive, but yeah, it would be a little bit painful for the crocodile. In the same way, this uh, yellow billed pecker without its rhinoceros is not going to die. But yeah, again, this yellow billed pecker is going to make it easy for rhinoceros so that it is not being bit by the ticks and lysis, which are which is course painful I guess. So this is all about proto cooperation that is another type of positive interspecific interaction.